Only 37% of students who walk to college graduate in the normal four years. And of the remaining class, only 58% of them graduate in six years. This is all according to Education Trust. <clears throat> so why is this number so low and what is something that we can do to get it higher? Something that I believe would work is taking a gap year. So this is just taking a year off before you continue your, your education. So we're all in college. We know that it's really demanding, it's really stressful. And personally, I'm gonna be taking a gap year after I graduate this spring. I know I wanna take, I wanna pursue a career in a um, medical field, but I don't know exactly what. And I know everything's gonna take a lot of schooling, it's gonna be a lot of money, so this would be the best option for me. So I think this gap year is a great time for, every, for a student to figure out their major. They can gain a lot of new experiences. And they're gonna save a lot of money. So first, we're gonna talk about how you can use this time to figure out your major. So something that you can do is you can shadow people in your preferred fields. So this is something that my cousin did. He graduated a few years ago. He knew that he wanted to pursue a career in engineering, but he didn't know exactly what he wanted to do. So he shadowed a few people. Now he's back in school in the field that he wants to be in, and he's glad that he did because he saved a lot of money and he knows exactly what he's doing. And he really appreciates being back in school and appreciates his education. If you want to be more hands-on and if your career allows it, you can do internships or apprenticeships. Um, and Times Magazine actually did a report on students who took a gap year. So these students ended up being doing better academically than students who didn't take the gap year. And they were more satisfied with their choices after they graduated. So they really were able to appreciate their education. They knew why they were going back. And they were able to be really happy with the decisions that they made. So now shadowing and working in your preferred field really will give you a lot of experience in the career you want to pursue. But you can get a lot of other great experiences staying and just taking a year off and not going off to college. So Harvard is actually a college that is kind of encouraging their students to take a gap year before going to their university. They encourage their students to travel so they can kind of experience different things or they want them to work on special projects or something that's meaningful to them so they can really get to know themselves because they've been in high school for four years. They didn't know, they didn't have time to figure stuff out because they were so busy with homework and everything else. And then AmeriCorps also has a program as well so you can travel with them, and then um, they'll give you scholarships for your time with them. So basically, when you travel with them, you're gonna go to underdeveloped countries, kind of help kids. So you're gonna be able to experience stuff like that, which is really gonna be good for you, and it'll be a great thing that you can take with you for the rest of your life. Now, a student actually told USA Today about his experience when he took a gap year. His name was Jacob Finstein. Um, he did an internship at a software startup company. So he said this year really boosted his confidence. He gained a lot of new life skills, experiences and he's more self-sufficient and mature than a lot of students he's in college with now. And he's not as stressed about being in college because he really knows what he's doing. Um, and now the most important part for a lot of people is money. So like I said at the beginning, there's a 37% of students who graduate in four and then 58% graduate in six. So the students who are in school for six years rather than four are spending 40% more money according to USA Today. So that can be up to $40,000 if you see that school can be the seventy-five dollars to $100,000. So that's a lot of money. Um, and then also, you have this whole year, so you have a lot of time to work, which is really nice. You can save a lot of money on top of that $40,000 that you could potentially be saving. And a lot of people on the audience cards had said that they'd be worried about getting back into school. But if you have kind of a support group who's, who's willing to help you and just keep you motivated and on track with everything, it's really easy to get back into it. And like my cousin, he found a career that he was really passionate about and he was excited to be in school now. Um, so today, I talked to you and showed you that taking a gap year can really prepare you to school, prepare you for school. It's gonna help you figure out your major, gain new experiences, and save a lot of money. So save that $40,000, take a year off, and figure out what you really wanna go to school for.